Alina Bobardi was probably one of the most important architects in the 20th century and she had a very interesting life and career. She uh, grew up in Italy, she worked there until the Second World War, and she moved to Brazil in 1946 where she developed um, all of her career. She had a very special relationship with drawing. Um, if uh, people have looked at her drawings, they will realize that she would draw something between an artist and an architect. And this is what is so important for the exhibition that we're developing at the Jean Miro Foundation. So we're looking specifically at how she appropriated drawing as a medium of expression, not only as an architect, but also as a person who had so multiple uh, interests in life. We have worked directly with the uh, Lina Bobardi archives, which are located in Sao Paulo in Brazil. And uh, in this um, collection that she has in Sao Paulo, she left about 6,000 uh, drawings, and we have selected 100 of them to be here in the exhibition. And uh, we have decided for two different um, uh, approaches. One of them is that these drawings should be chronological. So they should represent everything she did in her life from the very early age of nine years old to the end of her life. At the same time, we would like to um, bring about some of the themes that interested her in her work and in the daily use of, uh, of drawing and the uh, relationship with, she had with the medium. So we'll see among these 100 drawings many different uh, qualities and techniques. And I think that this is really is interesting about the way that she uh, drew and uh, uh, as a way of thinking is an extension of her uh, questions about architecture, about people, about uh, plants. So uh, we hope that this uh, will give people access to her mind and the way that she connected her mind and her hands through drawing. Um, and I especially here at the Jean Mira Foundation where uh, we have this incredible artist who also drew so profusely and so obsessively. I think it's a beautiful combination. They both use colors in such a beautiful way. And also the location of the museum, which is in a park. And Lina Bobardi loved plants. She loved the environment and nature. We will start this exhibition by looking at her drawings about plants and vegetation. And uh, we'll go from there to look at the other interests that she had in people who she considered to be the protagonists of architecture. And uh, from there we'll look at uh, the objects that she designed and also the buildings and the spaces that she uh, was so interested in as an architect, as a designer, as a theater director, as a curator, and so many of the activities she, de she developed. And in all of them, drawing was always present as uh, a means of communication, exploration, thinking, and expression.